Will Arsenal finally win the English Premier League for the first time since the Invincibles 21 years ago? I don't want to put too much pressure on us, but I do think this is the year for us to win the league, Bukayo Saka said after Arsenal's victory against PSG in the Champions League. I think we've been close the last two years and we're getting closer, but this hopefully will be the year. Arsenal last won the Premier League in the 2003-04 season under the legendary Arsene Wenger, when they won the title by 11 points above second place Chelsea. The Gunners won the title in style. They were unbeaten throughout the season, winning the Golden Premier League, the first team to win the English top tier unbeaten since Preston North End in 1889. Unfortunately for Arsenal fans, and fortunately for opposition fans, who've taken a habit of bantering with the Gunners, since the 2003-04 title win, the Gunners have struggled to win another league title, falling below the top four in most of those seasons. However, in recent years, especially the last two years, Arsenal have been very close to winning the league. Since club legend Mikel Arteta became the manager at Arsenal, the team have steadily climbed the ladder of growth and have retained their position as one of the best clubs in the Prem. Thanks to the impact of Arteta, Arsenal have moved from being a team that struggles with making the top eight to being, at the very least, one of the favourites to win the Premier League. Arteta's first two seasons at Arsenal ended below par. The Spanish manager failed to finish anywhere near the top, finishing in the eighth position in both seasons. He fared a little better in his third season as Arsenal finished fifth and he showed his prowess in his fourth and fifth seasons as Arsenal fought for the league until the final day in both seasons, agonisingly finishing second on both occasions, closely behind Manchester City, who won the league both times. Last year, the Gunners were extremely close to winning the league, finishing just two points behind Man City. When Arsenal were battling with mid-table finishes and Europa qualifiers, many knew the North London team were going to come back stronger, but only a few would have guessed they were going to be quite this strong. Being the favourite to win the league only a few years after some mediocre seasons is simply massive, and it's all thanks to the masterclass of the Guardiola protégé, Mikel Arteta. When you're a coach at Arsenal and you're showing what the team is showing, it is because he is one of the best. I don't care if he's 30 or 40 years old. He's showing that he's one of the best coaches in the world today. The newly appointed USA national team manager, Mauricio Pochettino, said of Mikel Arteta. Arsenal were very close to winning the Premier League last season, but they missed out narrowly, basically as a result of the loss against Aston Villa. The North London team finished the season at 89 points, while Man City, of course, finished on 91. We've been fighting so long for the big dream, Erdegaard said on Sky Sports after his side finished just two points behind champions Man City. We were closer than last year, but now we have to come back even stronger even more hungry. We're going to push and win everything. The manager Arteta echoed his captain when he told Sky Sports, if we do what we have to do, we're going to be closer and at the end, we will win it. When? I don't know. But if we keep knocking and coming that close, in the end, it will happen. Now, Arteta said he doesn't know when, but all indications show that this season may just be the season where Arsenal will be crowned league title winners. The 2024-25 season has started with much excitement and is promising to be one of the most entertaining in recent years. Why? Well, there are many teams threatening to win the league. Since Guardiola joined City, Man City have always been the favourite to win the Premier League. Now, this is not only due to the managerial masterclass of the Spaniard, but also because of the investments that Manchester City make every season. And this season is no exception. And once again, the league is City's to lose. Like every season, Man City started the 24-25 season promising to reach for the sky. They started their whole season by defeating Manchester United in the Community Shield, they then went ahead to get ahead of Chelsea's good form and very comfortably beat them 2-0 on the opening day of the new season. And so far, Man City are unbeaten right now, 
and will be wanting to keep this the case for as long as they can. Fortunately for Arsenal fans and fans of other teams contending to win the league, and unfortunately for City fans, in the tie between Man City and Arsenal, Man City lost their key player in recent years to injury for the rest of the season, none other than the talismanic Rodri. The news of Rodri's injury is a devastating one for City. The Spaniard has been in wonderful form since the start of the 23-24 season and is even in contention to win the Ballon d'Or. Rodri has been a vital component of four title-winning sides since joining the club in 2019 and, of course, the famous treble win in 2022-23. He has been the source of some hugely important goals for the side, even scoring the winning goal in the 2023 Champions League final. He's the best midfielder in the world because he can do everything, Guardiola said earlier this year. The importance of Rodri in the Manchester City squad simply cannot be overemphasised. For instance, in the 23-24 season, Rodri missed four matches in total and Man City lost all four. He will definitely be missed by City. In Guardiola's words, Rodri is irreplaceable. What he gives us? We don't have a similar player, Guardiola said. The match against Arsenal where Rodri was injured ended in a draw. Man City's next match against Newcastle United also ended in a draw. This has made many people reach the conclusion that Man City will not win the league this season. Of course, at City, they don't believe this. In the end, we always won the title. And I don't think it's going to be different this year. It's still early in the season, but we're going to win the league again. Manuel Akanji said after the draw against Arsenal. And after that draw against 10-man Arsenal, Piers Morgan stated, Arsenal will win the league. You couldn't even beat us when we only had 10 men for the whole second half. Without doubt, Man City's chance of winning the league has been reduced. Arsenal, in many people's opinion, will now for sure be considered the favourites to win. And we're not surprised since... Man City's probably most influential player will be out for the season, so it has to be now for the Gunners. Well, maybe not. Next up is the team who've been the laughing stock of English football in the last year or so, buying players as if they were playing career mode on FIFA with cheats on. It looked like from the outside that the owners had no idea what they were doing and there have even been rumours of Chelsea's owners arguing between themselves about how the club should be run. Now this must be after a few, shall we say, disappointing signings like Mudrick and all those goalkeepers. However, all of a sudden, with a few signings who looked like poor buys at the time, looking decent. Kukurea since the Euros has been very good. Nico Jackson has been starting to perform as well. And for more on him, click this video and subscribe to the channel while you're over there. Now, Chelsea seem to be another team threatening to win the league. The Blues have been one of the more shocking team stories this season. Having had a series of abysmal displays last season, which ended with the sacking of Pochettino, Many thought Chelsea were on a retrogressing journey of no return. Little did they know that the Blues were going to have a wonderful start to the 24-25 season. Chelsea narrowly finished in sixth position last year. They were only three points ahead of Manchester United, who finished eighth. The disappointment of the season led to the signing of new manager Enzo Maresca, who had led Leicester City to the Premier League by winning the championship on 97 points in the 23-24 season. With four wins, a draw and an early defeat to Manchester City in six matches, Maresca is currently enjoying his early days at Chelsea. Chelsea have been playing wonderfully this season. They're sitting in and around the Champions League spots now and have scored the highest number of goals in the Premier League so far, 16 goals. They're waiting for the big boys to slip up and will be ready to pounce after a run of wins in great form led by the man of the moment, Cole Palmer. Competing to win the PL? I really don't think we can compete with Man City or Arsenal now. We are not ready. Man City worked with Pep for nine years. Arsenal 
Five years. Us, three months. The target is to go slowly, slowly get closer, Maresca said. But do you think Chelsea have what it takes to win the league, even this year? I mean, they are on fire after all. And if not this season, they will for sure be up there next season, emphasising that Arsenal really need to win it this time around. Now, one of the other current league leaders, Liverpool, have amassed 15 points in six matches, winning five and just losing one, while scoring 12 goals and conceding only two. So clearly, the Merseyside club have started the season on a high note and are still one of the favourites to win the league. However, the Liverpool team is in a process of transition. Towards the end of the 23-24 season, it was announced that Jurgen Klopp would leave Liverpool at the end of the season and that Arne Slot would be replacing him immediately. Now, with much respect to the Dutch professional manager, who is without doubt one of the currently best Premier League managers, Arne Slot, it's just unlikely for him to win the Premier League this year in his first season in charge, in his first season in the Prem. The last manager that did this was Conte in the 2016-17 season for Chelsea. Now, Liverpool may seem to be getting the results right now, but as was evident in the unfortunate loss against Nottingham Forest, upsets are bound to happen. And Liverpool could for sure miss out on the league. But they are huge favourites to finish in the top four, three, even top two. Arne Slot will be in his second year in charge next season and will have assembled him a squad that he believes to fulfil his philosophy and massively challenge for all the trophies on offer, especially if he can keep the big boys at the club, such as Alisson, Salah and what many people class as the most important player on the list, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Liverpool are immediately playing well under Slot and next season they'll be a force to be reckoned with once his ideals have been fully integrated into the dressing room with the help of a few of his chosen signings that he will inevitably bring in. Unlike Manchester City, Arsenal have no major injuries so far and are in good form. If the Gunners can continue playing at this level, this might just be the season where they get crowned the Premier League winners again. Arsenal are unbeaten after six matches and have been given a major boost by Rodri's injury. Can they finally do it? For their sake, we hope so.